hello, hello, hello. Today's stream is early by four hours. And two of those are going to be Star Rail. So let's go ahead and get this started and rolling and uh, get Star Rail stuff done. That way, anybody that wants some drops will get a little bit. Drops should be enabled. I, yep, I see it there. Uh, give me just a moment. Uh, this one. I need to adjust my... Uh, drops. Enabled. Boom. Done. There. All right, that should help. Okay. Let's knock these out real quick. I don't care how many of those I have at the moment, but these, these I do care. These I want. Okay. Let's grab this for the daily check-in. Uh, what do I have here? Oh, yes, more of this. Good. What am I at? Uh, four. Okay. Today is going to be a more relaxing day for this, because I'm just going to be just doing all my normal daily things, but also the weekly bits as well. You know, nice and simple, nice and chill. There. Uh, yep, yep, casualty rate, blah, 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 yeah, I know this. Uh, let's give him one of these, because I got a ton. And I don't care about what he's saying all that much, blah blah blah. Done. That's my daily. Daily quest complete. Alright, so now I need to spend... this stuff. Uh, that's two sets of runs, but what do I need? Because I may not be running the normal stuff today. Um, I'm working on getting a lot of characters powered up. Oop. She's just going to have to wait until I'm done doing what I'm doing. Then I'll level her up some. Okay, uh, I guess I could start with Wawa. That'll work. I need 20, which means four runs of this. Because you get five every time. Alright, alright, we to just my normal team. And here we go. Enemy targets detected. Yeah, no buffs? Okay. I'm gonna be a little low energy at the moment because I'm still a little bit tired, but not too bad. I'm just gonna let them auto for the moment. Because them autoing is totally fine with this particular fight, especially now that I've cleared out everything but the last enemy. Yeah. Of course, running simulated universe is all it takes for me to get 200 more points. No, wait. I think simulated universe is 500 now. Alright, let's do it again. Actually, you know what? I just saw their health bars. Look is low. Let's get some shields on everybody. Some slightly bigger shields. Uh, 
one. I may swap my team after this one, but I do want to swing by a spot to heal. Then again, I could put a healer in the team and just fully heal from that. Enemy targets detected. No buff, on they fall down. Rock will heal, it's okay. that I started with. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it again. Kabam! Nice and simple move on this one. Yes, yes, hit the shields. Give Hook health. You're already burning. If it wasn't for the fact that I don't have any healing on this team, this would be a pretty solid one to take into a uh, Swarm Disaster and use them to get. Uh, Propagation completed. But... Oh man, propagation is rough for me. I got the rest of them. I tried propagation again recently and no luck on that. Uh, I think one more is all I need. Blast them. Blast the crap out of them. This is all looping very nicely. It may not be quite the same every time, but it is really close. Really, really close to being a full, good, solid loop. There's a snare, of course. There we go. Four runs. Nice and quick. And then I grab that and I'm done with that for the day. Hop over here. Yeah, I didn't quite reach the 8,000 weekly limit last week. Hmm. Oh, look. We can get this one done quick and easy. I gotta remember, I can use items in Simulated Universe now. So having those will be helpful. Alright, what else can I do real quick and easy? I'm going to do that here in just a little bit. Calx, yeah, I'll get Calx at some point. Echo of War, I might do this week. I don't know. Okay. Uh, ha -ha. You can ascend. Promoted again? Is that good or bad? Oh boy. And then I get one of these as well. Yay! I still haven't gotten her any relics. I'm not fully worried about it though. I did get quite a few of those built up, didn't I? Oh, 
Well, dang. Okay, do I actually have any extra? Because I shouldn't need any more. Yeah, let's get one of these. Which doesn't help get any more of these, but whatever. Yeah! Alright. I got one level for each of those to go, which is pretty good. And then her level 70 stuff will be done. But I think Silly here and uh, Chinche, I think that pair, when they're built up, should be pretty good for doing simulated universe propagation stuff. Oh, look, another one. Okay, so let's see what we got. Just from quickly doing that. Oh yeah, it's the first of a month. Yeah, so we get five of these. And five of these. And two of these. Nice. And I don't quite have enough for that, but how many do I have? Nine. Oh. Oh, I'm so close to number ten. Let's do a pull on this. I expect nothing on this one. I think there's two four stars I don't have. I don't expect to get either of them. I might get them eventually, but for now I expect nothing. Okay. I'm using that light cone on uh, 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 what's her face at the moment. So that's not bad. I don't see any more meshing cogs, which I'm trying to save up just in case, because they're apparently decent. Oops, wrong button. Wrong place! Uh, sure, let's go here, and then jump over to Sorval. Oh, not swap. Enhance, superimpose, and boom. Alright, and then... Check out this down here. Yeah, there's no more meshing cogs, so I only have that one. Alright, and I don't need any of the others. I don't know why I didn't just do this while I was in here. There we go. Alright. Okay, so with that done, next thing to do, I believe, will be... Uh, hitting Simulated Universe. So yeah, let's go over there then. Actually, no, I just need to do this here and down here. Boom. Ah, uh, nothing new. Okay. Yes. They definitely have been, yes. Yes. So I need to get all those and that will get me enough for one of those today. Oops, uh, I need to do LB. Uh, hmm, I don't have a lot of these, but I don't know if I'm using a lot of them. I really don't know what some of the characters even need. Whatever. This one's easy. Oops. This is the one with the deer, right? Yeah, this one's really easy. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with this. Elation does a great job. Let's knock out... Two... Uh, well, yeah, probably two elation runs. Ooh, black hole trap, yes. That's a numbie, let's get extra money. Boom. My turn. Uh. <laughs> man, I wish I had Clara. Oh well. Time Gotta work with Adder. They focus on her. Get him, Numby. Fuck him up. Time for an overhaul. 
Yay! Follow-ups, please. More follow-ups. Yes, auspicious star. I will accept auspicious star. Shoot everything! Pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! I like this team. I'd still prefer to have Clara instead of Himiko, but for the most part, this team does a good job. I'm gonna need to look into doing, or like, what things are good to do um, occurrence unlocks. Because obviously, I gotta go to the occurrence nodes and stuff, but. I didn't do anything. They just did all the work themselves. None of those. I don't want any of those either. Sure. If I ever get hit. But yeah, if I, I know I need to do occurrences, but I want to see if there's like a walkthrough out there that has what I need to do to unlock all the occurrences I'm missing. Like, if there's specific choices I need to make for different uh, occurrence options in order to unlock later ones. Uh, let's do the skill point one, just because. And we're all ready to our first elite. Hey you, time to check your butts. Hey. 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 hammer. Pretty sure this is max difficulty. Maybe I'm just too used to doing uh, simulated universe swarm disaster stuff already. That that gets rough real fast. This is one of the fire monsters that's immune to being burned. Kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, whatever. That said, the ice version is immune to being frozen, so... Bam! Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody took damage. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, the ceiling wax of elation would have been nice. Not fully necessary, but nice. I always try to prepare, uh, mostly on Sundays, but sometimes a little bit over the week, to try to get all of the coin things I'd need for any of these. Uh, let's get her as an extra tank, just in case. Let's get a cosmic. Yes! Omniscient capsule really helps me be able to continue to use my abilities. Or techniques, whatever. Because boom, and you get four instead of just two. Yeah, target. Doesn't matter. You freeze now. Yes, it is an early stream. Uh, so, as I was telling people yesterday and also today, uh, I'm doing this one early so that I can get a couple hours of Star Rail done and then once I finish doing Star Rail I'm going to uh, take a short break 
in stream for maybe like five, ten minutes or something. And then uh, get started on a new character on story for FF14 and try to go through the story as fast as I can go. The only reason why I'm stopping stream for that little bit is just to make it easier to upload to YouTube later. So I don't have to worry about cutting anything, because I'll have that already done. Uh, let's see... sure. So yeah, if you're playing Star Rail or any... No, I'm gonna try to go through the whole thing. Now, Realm Reborn, I expect to, like, since I'm not streaming tomorrow, I expect Realm Reborn, I will finish on Wednesday. Uh, maybe not the post-story part of it. That may take through Thursday to get through. But I'm hoping by Friday I'll be in Heaven's Ward. And when I say I'm going as fast as I can... Oh boy, I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna do. I've got a handful of rules specific for it uh, that I'm gonna be. Dang it, swap and then do it. But, uh, I got some specific rules I'm gonna be trying to get through. Um, like, uh, I'm gonna do. I'm probably going to be skipping cutscenes, which is going to save a ridiculous amount of time. And yeah, yeah, I know. I am aware. <laughs> I'm aware it took you a little while. <laughs> but when you started with this new character, you got through then not too long a time. What, like a, a month-ish to get through base game and uh, stuff up to Heaven's Ward? I want cups. Uh. But yeah, 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 I'm definitely gonna be just going fast. Uh, some of the rules I have are like, uh, I will not purchase gear at all. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm not purchasing any gear. Like, from market board, NPCs, anything. I'm not spending poetics. I'm not going to do that. The only gear I will have will come from dungeons, quests, and uh, anytime trials drop it, I might get some stuff from those. Um... Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, I'm doing main story only. I will probably go out of my way a little bit just to do the... Um, very nice. Uh, I'll probably go out of my way just a smidge to unlock... Um, what are they called? Uh, retainers. I'll unlock retainers and make one. I do not want to make more than one, and that retainer will be specifically just to throw crap onto uh, so I can keep my inventory kind of cleared. Kinda, yeah. Have you seen much of Star Rail? It's a pretty fun turn-based RPG. Like, sure, each character has a very limited uh, array of abilities that they can use, but that's part of the fun. It's like, I, I get it, if you're playing a regular RPG, you definitely want to have a lot of characters, or not necessarily a lot of characters, but you want to have characters have a lot of different types of abilities or spells or, you know, whatever. But Star Rail is more, each character has a, uh, a handful of things. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, I've seen, I've seen some Raiden looks. Is it more early riding, or is it like the um, uh, wearing all the the robo stuff, right? 
because there's enough stuff in, in 14 to have basically the full robot suit. I don't really know where it's all at, but I know it exists. The thing I'm fighting looks like a villain from... Like, possibly some sort of thing a Ry uh, that Raiden would fight in, uh... Something. Except for the fact that, you know, it doesn't have its limbs connected. It looks like it could be a suit that somebody might wear. And, uh... Uh... Like, the Raiden side of Metal Gear. I don't know which one that is. But I do know that uh, if you get the boosted or the crafted versions of things like uh, the I'm trying to think of the right word. Oh, nice. Having a complete brain fart right now. There's a... Um, there's a weapon. Oh, right. Okay. So... Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to break her. I was hoping I could get March's turn first. Oh, well. Um... There, the weapons from the primals, when you do, I forget if it's extreme or if it's just hard mode, uh, you can take the weapons apart or possibly get item drops that you can use to turn into, uh, uh, use them to turn into different weapons that have like effects on them and you might like the Ramu one because it has like lightning coming off of it if it wasn't for the fact that I'll be starting a new character I would absolutely show you what it looks like but uh I'm going to be on a new character, so they won't have any idea how to make it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll grab a hook for this. I probably should grab a healer next. I, I did not really like that particular gotcha. This one's fun. Like, the team that I'm using... Uh, okay, so for characters, nope, don't want that. Uh, for characters in Star Rail, you've got four star and five star, and that's it. There's no, there's nothing lower or higher than four and five star. And uh, two of this team, the ones on the left and the right, uh, those two are free. I could actually show, like, my my main team, uh, there was one gotcha that was when it started. My main team is two free characters and two characters that came from that gotcha. None of them are healers. I'll punch it, and then I'll pat it. There we go. Uh, let's go to occurrence. Okay, I've seen this occurrence already. Let's get this buff, and then I'll just... Bam. But, this is also more turn-based combat, so if that's something you enjoy, then that would be pretty good. Um, I also played on the PS5 and got up to everything current using a... Uh, um, Discard one to two and get a one to three. Nah, I'll just get fragments. This is the roguelite mode for it, by the way. So this isn't the normal story play stuff. Anyway, I got through the entire story using all free characters. 
it was uh, this guy, which is the main character if you pick guy. Um, this healer, uh, number one down there on the downloaded character section, and this guy. Let's see. So who do I want to grab? Oh yeah, healer. Let's let's grab. Let's grab her. Is this really all I got? How did I get so few? What happened? Normally I have like at least three rows of stuff. How do I only have this few? Ah, whatever. It gives me plenty of stuff for this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Extra damage to all the enemies. More healing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah. 12% eight times is decent. Uh, boost defense. Am I gonna... No, I can't. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna make it. Um, there we go. I got to upgrade almost everything. What the crap? This one felt way shorter. Hey, you. Time to check your books. Let's drop a fire circle and ice. I just enjoy all the tactics y stuff that you do in this game, ultimately. Try hard to watch this awesome movie. I also don't like getting the uh, more OP characters. Granted, you know, I've got a couple that are kind of OP, but like, there's a lot of the characters that I don't care about. I'm trying to get Ron May, which is the current one for the gacha. That said, I'm not particularly trying to get her to use her right now because I don't care that much. Yeah, my first uh, onslaught is now done and the deer has lost enough health to get to phase two. <laughs> two of these characters are free! That one's got a counter attack. That's annoying. Oh boy. That's not good. I will say the only issue I have with uh, the way Simulated Universe works is if the team you're using gets knocked out, then you get removed from simulated universe. What are you looking at? So even if you've got like, oh that's bad. The one person that can get rid of the enraged debuff that uh, the one character has is that character. <laughs> Oh, she didn't kill anything that time. She did, though. <laughs> I'm mostly spamming ults. I have stuff set up to be able to do that. It's kind of dumb. I like it. Yeah, I need to give a shield to someone specific. And I'm not getting a turn to do so. Shield, please. Okay, that character's probably gonna get dropped because she's not gonna get a turn. Yep, there she went. Ugh. Alright. Um. That one's got counterattack on it. My turn. You you need a shield. Try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Use 
all the ults. One hundred percent ults. Time for an overhaul. Yes. Blend. More lasers. If this laser kills something, it refreshes her stuff so I can do another laser. It did. Alright, uh, I don't really care about hers getting boosted. Oh, no, it killed it. Okay. Done. I don't care about that. And grab two of those. And my first run of this is done for today. Alright. Yeah, that's difficulty four. I think that's the highest. Yep. Alright, half the rewards for the week. Which gives me four more of these. Which lets me just be able to use those to get more stuff. Uh, what boss does this one have? Do I feel like doing terrible things to Kakolia? I do. Let's beat up Kakolia. Alright, maybe I can get more blessings this time to do more crazy stuff. Uh, Curio, I want gold coin of discord because it's the best option out of those for me. Surprise! Ah, <laughs> uh, fire the laser. Oh, that one's fun. I need to get the cups, but I will grab very specific ones that are not the cups with this team just because they are really good. The cups are elation which deal with follow-up attacks and this entire team is designed to do follow-up attacks. Um, so the one with the bow, her follow-up attack is that. So anybody that gets hit, at, uh, anybody on the team that has a shield that gets hit she will take a shot at the enemies uh, because of that. Uh, the second one, the the one that I run around as, she uh, every move she has counts as a follow up attack. Everything, and the little thing that's following her around, whenever it attacks, it's a follow up attack. So she is 100% follow up attacks. This one. With the hammer, her follow-up attack, uh, whenever an enemy hits 50% health, she runs in and spins. Like that. And then, uh, this one's follow-up attacks, she doesn't do them very often, comparatively, but whenever an enemy is, uh, or whenever enough enemies have their weaknesses broken, she'll just do a quick follow-up. Like, she'll just come in and just blend. Which I might be able to get to happen this time. There it is! When you're running into a bunch of enemies that don't have weaknesses of what you use, it makes it a lot harder to deal with, but you say barely felt it, but that hit for almost half your health. <laughs> Auspicious Star, I'll take that one. Auspicious Star is the one that whenever one of the characters uh, kills an enemy, it refills their ultimate attack by... Uh, 60% and if I upgrade it it's 100% which was why I was able to continuously spam specials earlier guess I didn't count towards breaking it but oh well 
Let's put a shield on herself. She's got the target on her, so. But the, the cup stuff just in gives buffs to, like this one. After characters launch follow-up attacks, increase their speed for a turn. So all the cup stuff increases different or it does different things whenever the characters do follow-up attacks. Oh boy, it's weak to fire. So, if a, um... Uh... Elite enemy gets weakness broken, that gives her three stacks, so she'll immediately do her uh, follow-up. And this thing counts as an elite enemy. So once I weakness break it, she'll just be like, oh look, more damage. It is, however, immune to freezing. So my two ice characters aren't going to do as much damage. Oh look, it's time for hitting. But part of the whole thing with this game is figuring out, oh man, I need to get a cup, but these are both really good. So this one, uh, when you do weakness break, it lets the character that did the weakness break go again. This one, whenever a character kills an enemy, they get to go again. They're both really good, but I want a cup. Oh, and this is the cup I really want, which turns all ults into uh, follow-up attacks. Which makes more stupid stuff happen if you haven't been following along too much. It's real dumb! But that's why I like it. Uh, I'll grab her for Kakolia. I may swap a character out when I go to Kakolia to see if I can pull off fighting her and winning without doing, or without anybody getting frozen. I think there's an achievement for that one, and I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. Alright, what we got? Restore HP, uh, basic attack gives extra, reduces damage taken. Man. Uh... I, I guess. I don't really care for any of those three. Oh well, that means this area has three enemies, which gives me three more blessings. Again, this is definitely the roguelike mode. This is not exactly the normal gameplay of this game. <laughs> but I very much enjoy the roguelike mode. Smash! Well, let's fill her stuff up. There we go. Don't want any of those. Don't want any of those either. Cool. Guess I'll grab that. Eh. But uh, the one thing I wish that they would do is if you lost, like if your party got taken out, any of the other characters that you had, you could just fill in and try again. But no, the way it's set up is if your party gets taken out, then you lose and it removes you. And if the party that I have is what I want for fighting everything, then there's no reason for me to download other characters unless I need them for something specific. No. No, those are cups. Uh, sure, let's make them easier to freeze for March. Thank you. 
I'm not liking my options on this one. I was going to do something, but instead the enemies all just died. <laughs> Guess I don't need to do anything on that one. Cup. So I always pick the one uh, that has the percentage on it for elation because uh, especially now since all of my stuff counts as or all my alter follow-up attacks and most of my stuff that I do is follow-up attacks uh, each follow-up attack I do once I select that one that has a percentage on it uh, each time I do a follow-up attack it does a percentage to refill the little yellow thing on the right side and that lets me use it more. So once I'm just constantly doing follow-up attacks like that, it just lets me go nuts and keep blasting things with it. Little fireworks thing was the little yellow thing on the right side. But every time a follow-up attack happens, it uh, adds to that meter. So her regular shot, and I'll be doing that. I have something for I'm just you. avoiding getting hit by her thing. Okay, no skills. That's easy enough. You know, if I can freeze her, it doesn't matter. I can do skills all I want. I didn't freeze her. I tried, but no success. Knock out both of these. I, I should have just done the cup explosion thing first. Oh well. Follow up. Weirdly counts as a follow up, and I get a little bit of meter from that one too. And more follow up. Boom. Yay, health comes back. So now, I also get health when doing follow-up attacks. Uh, let's see, I might as well put down a circle, because I'm going to get two after this. So yet again, the only person that can dispel the problem uh, that March there on the left has now uh, is March. It's basically like the healer getting the debuff. I'm also trying to stall for time just a smidge because I'm trying to do about two hours of uh, this before I swap, but um, I've been going for just about one hour and I have almost finished everything I need to do on here for the day. In fact, Running uh, this twice is actually for weekly stuff, so I've got no reason to run this one again, this particular version of it, until I either know for sure what I'm trying to get for uh, specific characters' relics, or for fun, I guess. But, ooh. Ooh, that was bad. Ooh, that one hit hard. Okay, here, have a have that. Kaboom! Again, one of the issues I've got with Himiko, as much as I enjoy her for normal battles, she's a little rough here, because the only way for her to get health back with this particular team is for her to do a follow-up attack. And the only ways for her to do follow-up attacks are to use her ult, or to do the blend thing that she does whenever an enemy, or enough enemies' weaknesses get broken. And 
that means I have to get through that white bar on the top to get her to be able to heal more. That said, she's about to get some pretty decent healing. Because the ult gives her a little, and then this gives her a little. So she just got like 30% of her health back. Probably a little less than that, actually. And I really don't want to use the thing on the right. Eh, screw it. It's fine. I'll rebuild it fast enough. I have something for you. The enemy is doing things, but I really don't care what they are. Like, I don't give any... any... anything. Let's try that again. None of those are cups. There's a cup. <sighs> sure, I guess. Robe of the Beauty will be fine. I only care about the golden ones that I pick up from... Or yellow, gold, whatever. The ones that have the same background as these characters up here. Uh, those are the only ones I care about f as far as... Uh, little ball and rope looking things. Oh boy, let's get more money. Specifically money for this particular game mode. Uh, let's buff Herda since I've got that. Down there above by Y that says Enhance, uh, I've got five uses of those different things. And up above that for the characters like Herda and Topaz and Numbi, they have the little symbols that shows that they have a buff. Himiko puts down a circle on the ground, which doesn't matter here, and March the 7th does an attack. So the purple thing that I broke that was over here, that uh, gives two of those little dots back, so I try to make sure I always have two of them open. Yeah, alright, let's see what happens. Oh, I lost a bunch of money. Okay, then I got some money. I got a whole bunch of money, and then I lost some money. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of other things. That was weird. The green one is for health. Do I have more or less money than I started with earlier? <laughs> I think that's more. I want a blessing and a curio. Let's do a fight. Bring it. Oh boy. They're all weak to fire. Now I might be able to have Himiko have fun and go nuts. Uh, let's make sure that Herd is safe. And then pop everything. Ooh, that nearly killed them all. Hmm. Let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Bonk. Okay, so once this one gets weakness broke, she'll do another blend. Unless it summons a bunch of little guys first. Okay, that gives it defense down, which is now the time to hit it with everything I got. As much as I like this game mode, there's one part in Swarm Disaster, which is a, a special version of it, that gives me problems. Fire the laser! Fire the Metal Gear! Okay, do I, how many cups do I have for the gold ones? I have two of them here, so I can get one more still. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, so this one is the one I think I prefer getting because it makes enemies take more damage. 
Um, do I want to swap these out? Honestly, these aren't bad. Um, let's get let's get that one. All of those are pretty good options for what I had. Let's buff Topaz and Herda, and then get those refilled. Um. Alright, so upgrading this one that turned all ults into follow-up attacks raises the follow-up attack damage from 15% to 55% bonus. Yes. That one is really good to buff. This one, uh, so I picked this one early and probably went kind of quick, so I don't know if you saw what it does, but normally uh, when you weakness break enemies, it does something to them. This one allows the same effect to hit the enemies on the sides, and if it's upgraded, it hits everything. That said, I don't know if that's going to matter too much for Kakolia. Uh, instead, I think I'm going to do this and this, uh, and then I've still got a fair bit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Heals 15% instead of 10%, so earlier... She only healed, what, 20% of her health? Damage follow-up boost, yeah. Uh, damage to an enemy of follow-up attack. Damage increase, yes. Each enemy hit by follow-up, yes. Increase. Um, engine, don't need energy. Regen all that much. Uh, hmm. Well then. I guess defense boost is helpful. Sure, why not? And then I'll get this one. I still feel like I don't have enough hey, you. of the different buffs. Drop the circle, and since she's not weak to ice, blam! But yeah, I, I think this is one of the better gotchas that I have played. Uh, if you like action stuff, then Genshin would probably be more along your uh, forte. I liked Princess Connect, but it got discontinued in the US, and that one was the best gotcha I had ever played with some of the best... Uh, rates and everything, which makes me a little sad that it's gone, but, you know, whatever. This one came out, like, shortly before it, the other one went away. Oh, uh, damage dealt. The color of the damage, like the, the numbers and stuff, that shows what type of damage is being dealt. So the red numbers mean that it's fire damage. Uh, blue is ice. Um, white is physical. Purple would be lightning. Uh, what else? Green is wind. Yellow is imaginary. And the blue purple, like the solid purple is lightning. The bluish purple is quantum. You can actually see on Kakolia's bar up there, uh, on the top right of the white bar, there's a little fire symbol, lightning symbol, and then quantum. And quantum is the one that's. Uh, Kind of a weird color. Let's just knock her out. She causes problems. And I have follow up attacks set where they're just doing all kinds of different damage. So it's like boom, and then uh, it does a second little plop noise that does a bunch of extra damage types. So characters will 
do bonus damage of different types. It doesn't count towards weakness break, but it just does a bunch of extra damage. And I'm holding off until I get her into the last phase before I pop the thing again. It might be not getting frozen while doing the Echo of War. That's probably it. Yeah, that's probably the right one. But it's super hard to prevent getting frozen fighting her here. What are you looking at? And Frozen is the only one that takes turns away. So if an enemy gets frozen, they have to use one of their turns to unfreeze. Uh, Quantum, you can build up to do a bunch of damage just all at once. Uh, fire, fire, wind, lightning, and a couple others that I can't think of at the moment all do dots. Numby is a monstrosity. He hits so hard. Let's get but yeah, the gold stuff there is the only stuff I care about. The rest of it I take apart without even looking at it. Okay, so that's the two runs for the normal done. Uh, oh yeah, the store's in there. I've heard a store. Let's buy one of these. Oops, okay. And then hit this because I've run Simulated Universe this week. And then come up here, go to the trade. Who is in the shop this month? Ooh, ooh, if I can get myself to save up, I could finish March out. Ting Yun as well, probably, but March. Oh, March has a really good ability on her last uh, Edelon buff. God, it's going to be a lot of saving to be able to get that. Her next one, that'll let her counterattack or follow-up attack. They're both the same thing for this. Uh, one more time, which is great. Uh, that one's, you know, whatever. And this one, she can heal people that are shielded. Like, so when she... I, I don't know if it's from her shield specifically. I think so. So when she shields people, she can actually do healing. But I definitely would like to have her be able to counterattack three times in a turn. Actually, how's my Ting Yun? Ting Yun, you are at three, which is not bad. Multiplier for damage, that's pretty good. That's also not bad, but that one's good. Okay. All right. Um, I don't think I have anybody I really need to do stuff with in there. However, I did get enough tickets, so here we go for yet another pull. I think. I should be able to get her within like the next 20 pulls total. And here goes 10. Oh, five star. Okay, there is a chance that I don't get her specifically. But this one, it, there is a five star I'm getting. I just don't know who I'm getting. Let's find out. Yeah, that's her. All right. Oh, hey, there's another Tingyun. That gets the thing that I needed for her, then, I guess, for that bonus I was looking at a minute ago. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So that means anything else I get is going to go towards trying to get the Light Cone so that she has something that works really well with her particular build. Sweet. That also means that at some point I actually have to level her. <laughs> Oh well, I'll get to that eventually. That puts two characters on the waiting list. Because, fuck Zampo. Um, is this an extra one? No, that's my level 40. Okay. 
because I got more at some point, somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, I've got two more moles welcome you, and I'm just like, man, I don't need all those. Uh, let's go up here to Ting Yoon and pop that eatle on that I just got. Ah, a visitor. Please let me show you some of our local hospitality. Nice. So the four stars are like when you do pulls, you have if you do a ten pull, you're guaranteed to get a four star. It could be a light cone, it could be a character. All right, well, uh, I got Ron May. Let's see if I got any more. I did get another meshing cogs, so let's uh, superimpose. Okay, and then let's salvage the rest of it. The meshing cogs, if I get that one capped out, it can be one of Ting Yun's strongest uh, light cones. So, you know, whatever. But that also means that I can take the ones that uh, you... Uh, I can take the one that Ting Yun has on her and move it over to Yukong and then move that one somewhere else, I think, and just kind of adjust things down the line. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? I've only been going for about an hour. I don't... I don't know what else I can really run. Like, I guess I could... I don't know. I might could do some of this. I did... I actually managed to barely get three stars on... Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Uh, number seven yesterday, which got all the rewards from the previous ones. I just don't know if I can handle taking these guys down easily. Because this is, like... 8, 9, and 10 are rough for me. Doable, but... Well, actually, I don't know if I could do 10. I might be able to beat, like, 8 and 9, but I don't think I can get uh, 3 stars on it. Uh, I've never beaten 10, and 11 and 12 are new, and having, you know, problems way back here, I don't think I'm going to make it to those. Oh, I still need to manage to pull this one off. I'm going to have to look and see if I've got characters that are good for dealing with this. Uh, yeah, I think you know what the I do know the controls for this changed it used to be select would swap between them now it's L tr uh, left trigger or L2 okay uh, I don't really feel like dealing with those though um hmm only had 18 of that, so no need to farm any. I finished the daily stuff. I finished my weekly stuff. Uh, let's just let's take some of this apart. I don't need any of these. Like I said before, if they're not gold, I don't even look at them. I just go over and select them to remove them. They are fodder for the others. I may, as little as I want to swap already, I may actually start getting stuff running for uh, 14 here in just a few minutes. So I need to take a short breather before I get started because I know I'm going to be on 14 pretty hard. Because I'm going to try to get through as much of Realm Reborn as I can today. It's not going to be speed run speed, because I'm not that fast, but it's going to be quick. And if I'm keeping up with level well enough, I may not worry about using the experience ring. That is the only experience boosting item uh, that I will even allow myself to use. That and food. And the food is just whatever food I get from uh, doing the main story. So if they give me food, I will consume it. Okay, uh, what what's on sale here? What's in this? Oh, I can get another one. Ooh, I can buff. Uh, 
I need to see what my wolf walk time is set to because I need to buff that up more for um... oh that's gonna take a while to get okay I don't care about those three these are the ones I want especially the re resin because the resin lets you do what you want with a piece of gear um... Yeah, I'm out of quests. Huh. I don't really feel like going back into to the stuff to do the crazy things on the 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 eventy things, so Alright. Well then, I think nice. I think we're at a point where I'm just gonna say screw it and start getting ready for the FF14 uh, marathon thing. Yeah, because I, I got nothing else. Alright. So let me... Hmm. Well then, my headphones have decided to be a little bit stupid. I guess the timing is okay, because... Alright, yep, yeah, they're back on. Okay, good, good. Alright. So I'm gonna go... Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Because I, I kind of want to... Just... Yep, yeah. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end stream here. So I'm gonna put this... And then I will be back. That's not actually re correct. That's just stream over for the time being. Uh, so I will be back in probably about 10 minutes, maybe 15. And we'll be getting started on Final Fantasy 14. So have yourselves a nice little break and I'll see you in just a bit.